everybody and welcome to One Day. Today we are looking at the Aztecs, a fierce bunch of warriors who settled in Mexico about 700 years ago, maybe a bit more. And I'd just like to give you a warning, 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 warning. Today's session might be a little bit gruesome. So, Make sure, uh, make sure you know what you're watching, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into, and if you're not comfortable, leave. Right then, now we have just you right here. We're gonna carry on and play a game, okay? This is a cursed game. It's a cursed game. The Aztecs believed in many, many, many gods. They settled in their capital city, in Mexico City. They called it Tecnochtitlan. I go, you go, Tecnochtitlan. 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 Fantastic. So they settled in the city and they believed in all sorts of gods, okay? And there was even some human sacrifice. Now we're going to learn why they sacrificed people, human beings, to the gods. Um, a little bit later on we're going to learn their story. But to begin with, we're going to play a cursed game. That's right. I'd like you all to face the camera. Good stuff, and you are playing me, but I'm going to win because I am the best. But you might win as well. Who knows? Um, so you're going to start by facing down. I'm going to say one, two, three, go. When I say go, you need to look up. You can either look straight directly into the camera. You can either look right, or you could look left. Okay? So one, two, three, go. When I say go, that's when you look one, two, or three. Now, if you're looking the same way as me... I win. If you're looking a different way than me, you win. You get one point for winning, and we're going to play best of five, okay? So you need to keep score because I cannot see you in there. Um, so you keep score, okay? You keep score, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see who wins. We'll have a practice to begin with. Look down. One, two, three, go. Now remember, when I say go, you need to go straight away. Don't look at me and see which way I'm going. Just go straight away. If you're looking the same way as me then I win. If you're looking a different way, you win. Well done. Right, that was our practice. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm ready. Okay. Everybody down. Looking down. It's scary. One, two, three, go. Are you looking the same way as me? Are you looking into the camera as well? If you are, I win. If you're looking a different direction, you win. That's one point to you. Right, keep track. We've got our second round. Remember, the Aztecs, oh my goodness, lived in their capital city, Tecnochtitlan, but they were roaming all around the Americas before that. They were a fierce bunch of warriors. One, two, three, go. Are you looking the same way as me? One point to me, if that's the case. If you're looking a different way, one point to you. The Aztecs... They even sacrificed humans. One, two, three, go! Same way as me, I get a point. Different way, you get a point. I wonder what the score is now, where you're at. I wonder where you are. Okay, let's look down one more time. The Aztecs built palaces, pyramids, and temples and created powerful, this powerful city. So they were amazing. One of the first civilizations looking down. One, two, three, go! Are you looking the same way as me? If so, I get a point. If you're looking a different way, you get a point. Every Aztec was trained as a warrior. Look down. One, two, three, go. Are you looking the same way as me? If so, I get a point. If not, you get a point. Well done, you. They, uh, the Aztecs, the Aztecs really believed in religion. They had lots and lots of gods, not just one. Looking down. Last round now, okay? I don't know what the score is, but let's make this round worth two points, all right? Okay. One, two, three. Are you looking the same way as me? If you are, I get a point. Or two points. If not, you get two points. I wonder what the score is. Tell me what the score is. Did I win or did you win? Did I win or did you win? Who knows, who knows, who knows. Can you remember any of those facts that I said uh, during the during in between each round? Can you remember any of them? If you can, wonderful, you are learning already. If not, don't worry. You can always rewind and play again. And you might even know which way I'm going to turn. You can play that game with your friends as well. All right, then. Now, we're going to move on, and we are going to learn why 
Aztecs. Why Aztecs sacrificed human beings? True story. Hi everyone, I'm sat down. You should be too. Go and sit down, find a table, and first, before you do that, go and grab some pencils, pens, pencils, pens, crayons, whatever you use to colour in, felt tip, it doesn't really matter. If you're one of those neat people, you can of course... Do it really neatly with rulers and all your wonderful, lovely stationery. But if not, don't worry, you can just get some scrap paper. You can draw on something, but just don't draw on the wall because that's not good. Today, we're going to be making and learning about how films are made and also um, learning why Aztecs sacrifice human beings. That's right. So pens, paper, go and get them. You can pause this video while you go and get them. Go and get them now. I hope you've paused. Unpause. Ooh, good, unpause. I hope you've unpaused. Right then, now, um, first, get your piece of paper. Now, I've split my piece of paper. We're going to be making a storyboard. That's right, a storyboard. And that's what um, filmmakers use before they even start to look at what maybe the story might look like as each bit of the story progresses. So, I'd like you to split your page just like I have here. <laughs> We've got number one, a box here, and underneath a little space for writing. We've got box two, and underneath a little space for writing. Box three, a little space for writing. Four, a little space for writing. Five, a little space for writing. Six, a little space for writing. So split your page like I have here. If you want to, you can pause this so you can copy it. And when you've copied it, unpause it. Good. Now, um, in each box, this is going to be where you write a little sentence about what happens in the first part of our film, the first part of our story. This is where we write the second part of our story, the third part, the fourth part, the fifth part, and the sixth part. So listen closely because I'm going to tell you the story. You can pause it and write down what happens in that part of the story. So you can remember, and then we're going to draw some pictures in each of these bigger boxes to see what we would film or what we might show if we were performing or filming this um, this story, all right? So, I'm going to tell you the story and I would like you to listen and write down each point in each of the boxes so you can remember what to do. Okay, first of all, you need to know about a god called Quetzalcoatl, who was the kindest and the most well-known of all the Aztec gods. He was a feathered snake. That's right, a snake with feathers does not exist right now, but they believe that it did. Quetzalcoatl was a feathered snake. Um, and he, uh, he was wonderful. They loved him very, very much. He was actually the god of art and creativity. There was another god as well called Tlaloc. I can never say his name. Tlaloc. Okay, Tlaloc was the god of the underworld, and uh, he created a great flood, a great big flood, um, to destroy all of the humans on the earth. That is plot point one. Tl Tlaloc created a flood to drown all the humans. Write that down in your plot point number one. You can pause, I'm going to move on, okay? Um, number two, plot point number two. Quetzalcoatl travelled to the underworld to reclaim the bones of humanity. Um, so the world may be repopulated. All right? Write that down. Quetzalcoatl travelled to the underworld to get the bones of humanity. Plot point number three. We're going to go to the third one now if you've written one. Don't forget you can pause and catch up. It's okay. Number three. Uh, the god of the underworld. The god of the underworld was ugh, disgusted by this. And displeased and refused to give Quetzalcoatl the bones back. So he refused. Refused to give the bones of humanity back. Number four, Quetzalcoatl stole the bones instead and hurried off with them. Quetzalcoatl stole the bones and hurried off with them. Number five, the bones were ground up in a jade bowl. Ooh, ground up in a jade bowl. And Quetzalcoatl performed a bloodletting on the bones to make them come back alive. Do you know what a bloodletting is? It's where Quetzalcoatl gave his own blood to humanity to save them. And number six, <clears throat> to repay Quetzalcoatl, human beings must sacrifice other human beings and give Quetzalcoatl blood 
that he deserves. That is what the Aztecs believe. They are repaying the kindness of a god by killing other human beings. I'm not so sure if you ask me, but that's what they believed. And remember, this was 700, even more years ago, more than 700 years ago. Well, uh, and 700 and, and beyond. So they lived for quite a long time in Technotic Clan. So, <laughs> hopefully you've got all the plot points. One, two, three, four. Right, now here's the, lo here's the lovely bit, here's the lovely bit, here's the lovely bit. I would like you <clears throat> to draw in each of these boxes a little picture about uh, showing what you'd like the film to look like. And to do that, I'd like you to think about this camera. Notice how I've changed to sitting down, and I was standing up. You can use loads and loads of different shots because you've got a camera and you can control what the audience sees. So you could, and I'm sure you've all heard of this, use a close-up. You can see my face here. It's obviously me, isn't it? Um, a close-up. And you can really zoom in on that person. You might choose to do a close-up for when they drown. Maybe you want to do a close-up for the bloodletting. I don't know, that's up to you. You could also do a medium shot. So a medium length shot. So a medium shot is where we can maybe see shoulders. This is what we're in now, maybe a medium shot. Okay, you can see shoulders a little bit closer. And of course, there's a close and there's a medium. You can probably guess there's gonna be a long shot as well where you can see the whole body and maybe even more. Maybe you can only see a very small person in that. Um, so you could see a long shot as well. So we're gonna use those three. So think about when you're drawing, do you want a close up, a medium shot, or a long shot in each of these boxes? So have a little draw, take your time. If you're really good at art and you wanna take your time a long, long time, you can press pause and spend as long as you want on these pictures. If you just wanna draw stick figures, that's also fine. And you can just have a think about what you'd like to show. Because afterwards and in a moment, you are going to perform them using your bodies and anything you can find around your house. Anything you can find around your house. So don't forget, think about what you're gonna do first and then we're gonna perform them, okay? You can film them for yourself and I'm gonna show you maybe a little bit of what I've done. Oh, that should be fun. Hopefully you can tell me that story of Quetzalcoatl as well. And uh, can you remember all the stuff we've learned about Aztecs so far? There's loads. Right then, I'm going to leave you to it. Bye! Okay, so um, we've learned why the Aztecs wanted to uh, do blood sacrifices and human sacrifices to their god because they believed that their god saved them from the underworld, Quetzalcoatl, of course. So you're going to see now, um, you're going to see my, uh, my attempt uh, at the storyboard that I've just created and then you can give it a go. So don't just do what I do, try and make something a little bit better because I've only done this, um, I've only done this as an example and I'm sure you will do much, much better than me. Remember, don't forget those short, those mid, those long shots and maybe add a little bit of action if you think you can, but don't worry if it's just a freeze because that's what I'm going to do. Right then, here we go for my first shot. Tla ta ta I can never say his name, can I? Tlaloc created a great flood, drowning all of humanity. Here we go. Quetzalcoatl travelled to the underworld to bring back the bones of humanity so the world may be repopulated. Travelling. even got a stick, look, you can get some props as well. Number three, and the god of the underworld was displeased and refused to give the bones to Quetzalcoatl. Good, number four, Quetzalcoatl stole the bones from the hunter uh, and, and hurried from the underworld. Number five, he ground them in a bowl. Now I was gonna do a close up here. This is my best jade bowl. Good, and finally, to repay Quetzalcoatl, humanity must perform a human sacrifice. Very, very good. I hope you can do something really similar or even better. Right then, I'm going to leave you to it and maybe you can act it out. Maybe you could film it on your phones or your tablets or your computers or you could ask your brother, sister, cousin, aunt, whoever you're with, your grown-up to, um, to, to, to film it with you as well. Nice to see you all. I hope you'll watch some of the other videos on One Day Creative, not just me, but all the other wonderful human beings who are producing videos and hopefully see you all again soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It'll be wonderful to see you. Bye.